Flynn. Son of Crimson is a 2D action adventure platformer with Metrovania elements. It is a Kickstarter game developed by Studio Thunderhouse. This game can be played on PC, Xbox, and the PS4. First of all, if you're playing this on the PC, I strongly recommend you to use a controller because the keyboard controllers are very difficult to get used to. In this game, you take on the role of Flynn, a young man orphaned as a child who is set out to chase the shadows of his beginnings while awakening the ancient power of Crimson within him. In the game, you can quickly switch through four of your weapons, such as the Crimson Blade, which is the first weapon you can use during the game. It's the default weapon you can fight starting out in the game. The second weapon you can acquire is the Crimson Axe. It's a slow hitting weapon, but it does massive damage when fighting foes. This weapon can also be used to destroy bitter walls that block your path. The third weapon you acquire is the Crimson Claws, a fast hitting weapon that does significant damage but is really fun to use. These claws can allow you to wall climb and do a spiral drill attack that can dig through certain soft grounds. The final weapon you have is a ranged crimson bow. This ranged weapon can allow you to shoot foes from long range. It also allows you to activate certain trigger traps and puzzles. The final item you acquire in this game is the grappling hook. This item mostly serves you to swing yourself through the world by grappling on certain metal rings. There are a few dimensions that can be accessed in this current demo such as the Scourge, an infested land filled with hatred monsters. You can hide in certain walls so that you can sneak through some monsters who are searching for any living beings. Rustwood is a fantasy type garden filled with flower type monsters. This is the first biome that you will be in and this is also where you acquire your crimson weapons. Throughout the game, you can open chests filled with red crystals. There are also statues you can come across to save your checkpoints. This game has wonderful visuals for a pixel game. Every biome is different from one another. The game has colorful biomes that it feels like it's brought to life. I'm interested in looking forward what biomes are coming next. Even though this is a demo, I really enjoyed playing this game. I can't wait to get my hands on the finished product.